Hello and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. In this episode, we're going to be looking at specifically at the command blocks and all the new kind of functions in command block. And I thought what I'd do to help us along the way is to get uh, the world's expert. Well, one of the world's experts, anyway. Dragnos is going to join me today, and I'm going to ask him loads of awkward questions uh, about the command blocks, and Ooh. hopefully he's going to be able to answer answer some of them for us anyway. <laughs> Okay, is, uh, is that okay? Who are, you, who, are, what, 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 you, who are you talking to? I don't see anybody. I'm talking to the, them over there, the them oh, in the sky. Wait, I, the, the, uh, sky people. Hello, sky, sky people. people. <laughs> I, yes, hello. I'm here with, with Wizard Keen today. Yeah. Okay, sky people. Are they watching us? They're watching oh, us. It feels odd when just they watch be, us. Uh, okay. just, don't be frightened of them. <laughs> they they're just normal. Okay. Live in the sky. <laughs> so we've got. Uh, well, okay. I mean, one of the questions I get asked a lot is 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 about you know we we've had these kind of command blocks for a long time and we you know I've I'm fairly you know I can oh, kind of awesome. use them and uh, they're quite easy but now if we Good open team. them up we've got we've got a lot of kind of we've, there's some new yes. buttons in there uh, and there's and they also hey. seem to be different colours as well <laughs> there's these colours in the back Absolutely. over here. Absolutely. So. Well, well, basically, we've we've uh, in 1.9 we've had a complete and utter overhaul in how they actually kind of function on the outside. Mm. Um, because if you if you remember, um, if you've ever watched any kind of video video or seen any kind of mechanic that's been made with uh, uh, with command blocks, you would always have seen something like that. Yeah. Okay. Does that at all look familiar? Yeah, this is like okay, a redstone so clock kind of. You know, you have these clocks, and uh, then uh, they, they would trigger all the redstone blocks and stuff like that. That's so that's, that's, that's correct. They, so basically, what what happened here was it would have it, you actually had a chunk update that twenty times a second. So it was it was terribly inefficient. So mm. a new way was came up. Uh, they came up with a whole new way, revamped the whole way that the thing worked. So. Um, as you said, we have three types of command blocks now. Yep. Uh, first of all, we have the impulse command block, which is exactly like you know it was before. It acts okay. exactly the same as a normal command block. Yeah. Okay? So uh, as you uh, see here, we got this. We got a button over here. It says impulse, and we click it, and then it says chain, and then it says repeat. So impulse is great. that waits for literally a redstone signal. That could either be uh, a button, uh, someone just dropping a redstone but block on it. Maybe a piston being pushed into it, or even a le uh, even a, uh, a lever as well. A, a lever or a pressure plate, any anything yeah. that outputs a redstone signal can activate it. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay. Cool. Um, I mean, when you're looking at this conditional uh, and and need redstone, uh, we'll get to that. I mean, the unconditional that doesn't really work very well with this, with with the impulse. You wouldn't really use conditional on no. on an impulse one. Okay. Um, however, the need redstone is something I will show you shortly. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, right, so then the next one we have is actually a chain. Now, it is a, the next one in the list is chain, but I'm going to quickly skip to a chain, pass the chain, and I'm going to yeah. go to the repeat. Okay, cool. Okay, and the repeat... Um, okay, now you see that is purple, and now this is mm. our, new, our, new, uh, our new clock uh, uh, command block. Okay, okay so this cool. actually acts as a clock. So it just says repeat because it repeats whatever's inside this command block 20 times a second when it is powered. Okay. Got you. Um, you'll, also, you'll also see it says needs redstone, which means if mm. we say, say, if you click in it, if we say, say, hello, uh, uh, invisible sky people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. You'll see yeah. nothing happens. No, if we gone. put a redstone block on it, you'll see that it now says it in the chat. Ah, uh, right, okay. okay. And that's just whizzing through 20 times a second as well. Absolutely. Okay. Now, if you see this, it says, if we go back into it and we click on the button that says need redstone, mm -hmm. okay, to always active, you will see it'll now always, always act, be active without any kind of redstone signal. All right, cool. You can see yeah. that. So it just goes okay, between so needs redstone always. always active. Got you. Wow. That's it. That's only the two the two options. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, then we have uh, the chain block. Okay. Now okay. what a chain block does, uh, it needs to be powered by either uh, this impulse block, right, or uh, this repeater block. Okay. It okay. needs it. It needs. Unlike unlike the uh, impulse block over here uh, that requires redness, redstone signal to activate, this actually requires a signal from one of these blocks. So okay. you'll see these blocks have got little arrows on it. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you've got the then. back, si- the little bum side on the back here. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, the little squares, the, the back kind of end. circle, like and almost like a little plug, rug, right? Exactly, that's exactly. Is that exactly. the kind of well so, done? <laughs> the the <laughs> design <laughs> design sense from uh, Mo Yang. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, I love the design sense. Yeah. Is amazing. Yeah. Um, okay, so the way the way this works is the arrow always needs to point into the next block. So you'll see okay. the arrow points into the block. Got you. Okay, now the cool thing about this is uh, you can also do it like that because you'll see the arrow still points into that block. Can you okay. see that? Well, so does it go up? And yeah, and then you can go up and then you can go like that. No, okay. that's right. cool. Right, okay. All right. So, and then it, it'll, it'll absolutely still function. Okay. okay. Um, all right, the way that I actually put a command block on top of, it, of, of another block is I hold down shift and then just click. Okay, I'll shift and, and right click. Got you. Okay, so that's how you... Now, and if you fly, you hold down shift and space at the same time to do that. Okay. 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 Um, cool. So now the nice thing about this as well is if we now go into uh, the chain block and we go uh, always active, so it doesn't need redstone. Yeah. We don't actually have to actually power this with redstone at all. So if we now say, uh, hello, sky people, and then we're going to say, go say... Um, and we're going to just give it a space, um, uh, fancy a kappa. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if we, now we make sure you'll see that, uh, the chain command block is, uh, always active. It's unconditional. And then we go back into our repeater block and we're going to, we're going to actually turn on, uh, the redstone to be always active. Okay. Yeah. And now you'll see, okay. So what is we did? Uh, okay. So say, can't start it with a space. There we. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Maybe it was because uh, of me, because I was jumping in there as well. So. <laughs> okay. So say, okay, let's just try this again. Say, uh, fancy a uh, kappa. Okay. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, okay. Never mind. <clears throat> oh, you you did you turn off the you turn uh, off the? Uh, I may have. Uh, yes, I you may have did. Done there we go. <laughs> 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 so basically what you did is you turned off you turned off the um repeater block by clicking on the always active button ah uh, yes uh, okay cool so <clears throat> um, okay so basically we, so that one's going i'm doing my one and then this one triggers that one and then it this one's always active so it's triggering that one so it's kind exactly. of oscillating between the two yeah so and the thing is now you, i mean you could build up this whole command and it can be just become this massive command block thing that just flows uh, you know, one after the other. Um, a very cool thing about this as well, it actually it actually executes in this order. So it, first of all, you're the blue one, uh, and then it kind of fires off in any you know in this order. So you right, can actually yeah. do some very very ordered things. Like um, when you do start doing programming, if this is true, then do that, then do this, then do that, then do this. Yeah. Okay. That, yeah, that's right, some, so, that's extremely powerful, I suppose. Once you get down to kind of uh, absolutely kind of game make mechanics yeah. and other bits and pieces, great. Okay, exactly, exactly. Now um, another another thing that we were discussing earlier on is uh, you'll see you've got the unconditional, uh, the con- unconditional and the conditional button. Oh yeah. Okay. That's this thing so here. what we can do is we're going to quickly change the, the the command in the actual repeater block, and all we're going to do is just as a as a test, we're going to go test for mm-hmm. at p uh, radius equals uh, three. Okay. So if you now have a look at the uh, let me just quickly turn this one off. Uh, if you now have a look at the uh, the repeat block, you'll see the command in there. So all mm-hmm. I've told this this command block is to test for any player. Yeah. within a three block radius of it okay yeah so that's going to okay. be and that's always active and that's repeating okay cool that's so, always active and then and once repeating. we get close yeah. to it it w- it should trigger the oh. next one yes. but we haven't done the next one yet so oh, next. okay <laughs> uh, okay um so next we're going to say we're going to we're going to go into the chain block and we're going to add a command say at p radius equals three um um loves purple okay we're gonna go conditional and we're gonna go always active so let me just go in there all right can, can you can you really pop can have I'm a look at the, the at the block key loves purple nice okay. <laughs> okay so let's just 
change this to two. Okay, try, try. So just click in that block. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to click in the block. So okay, say so at P, uh, uh, with in a radius of C, that's purple. That is so cool. Done. Okay, it's probably lathers like that, right? Yeah. Okay, so now you'll see also on the outside the actual button has changed. Oh, well, the the logo, the uh, the little graphic has changed. It yes, just shows you that this this is actually dependent on the one over here. Okay, right. so what what we can now do is now we can start building a little bit of a conditional, uh, a, a, a little bit of a conditional thing here. So we can say in this one over here we're going to say test at at e. Okay, name mm -hmm. equals dragnos. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, oh, sorry. Uh, and I'll need to go. Uh, sorry. R equals three. Uh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Let me just see. Did that stop it for you now? No. What? Can you move, can you move away a bit? Oh, your or name. You've spelt name. There we go. Try and. Oh, done. did I spell? It? There we go. You just. just oh, did name, I spell it? It didn't have an uh, e. <laughs> on the, yeah. It's like. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm also my typos. Typos. Uh, yes. Right now, see now if 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 you go if you go closer to the block, what happens? That's nothing's going to happen. But if you go close, okay. So let's just really change this quickly. I'm just going to change this to. Uh... Okay, so if I come closer to this, you'll see it says <laughs> Dragon's Love. Okay. Now what? Now you'll see the very cool thing about this is that um, any any. Uh, of these green blocks, so any of these chain blocks. If I now add one at at behind this um, uh, this conditional block, yeah, it pulls its power from the closest blue block. Okay, so they'll okay. all be powered whenever this one's got a condition attached to it. That's whenever correct. this one's um, test for and, and succeeds, then they'll all, if they're chained together. Um, no, actually, not not at all. Oh. The only one, so so you'll see over here. So if I now say say hello, so in the last one I'm going to say say hello, okay, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to activate that. Yeah. You'll see, uh, all right. You'll see it'll always fire no matter what because yeah. this command block in the end here is still is still actually working, okay. So what we want to do is we actually want to um, we want to change this to actually do another test. So this time we're going to go test four uh, at. Uh, at E, a uh, name equals. Uh, how did we spell your name? Let me just just. Okay, oh, yeah. I always get your name wrong. <laughs> it was a key name. It's, it's, uh, Min Minecraft requires we go. that you get it Wizard exactly. Wizard underscore. Yeah, there you go. In, uh, Capitals. Two, uh, three. Okay. Right. So now what we've done is. Uh, because this one is now always running, so it's it's ignoring the output from this uh, from the conditional one over here. It's yeah. always running. I'm just adding a second uh, test for command, and yeah. now I'm going to be adding a condition over here. So I'm going to make this a conditional command block, and I'm just going to say say at p uh, at e sorry at e uh, name equals wizard underscore keen uh, r e oh well just wizard keen. Mm -hmm. uh, loves purple. Okay. Right. So, right. So now, okay. if you go so closer got, to that, uh, up, and we need oh. to make it. Oh. Oh, I, that might be me because we're <laughs> we're both we're both pressing <laughs> done. Damn it! So uh, this is the trouble with uh, trying to code together. Code together. That's absolutely yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it kind of ends up being a yeah. Bit the, of the multiplayer. Yeah, it's not happy. <laughs> Yeah, no. Okay, you finish uh, that off. I can. Uh, I think I see where you're going. So that's. So the, here okay. we've got a test for was a keen, and then this one will be the condition. If once this one's been met, then we go uh, into this one. So that one says say. Okay. Uh, that's it. Okay. Now we're both close to it. So it's saying both out. Here we go. Okay. See? There we go. Um, move yeah. away. Move move away again. And I'll move away. Okay, come, just to, says you. come closer. Okay. And then if I move away. Just okay. So you'll purple. see. Yeah, so it's a very and now if I if I if I turn this one off and say it needs redstone, you'll see it now all stops completely. That is amazing. Okay, so and that's because it's a chain. Absolutely. So it's all 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 all, all chain 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 together. Um, that so is I mean, amazing. It's, it's yeah. Really, really powerful. Uh, and, thing and you get to something do. quite sophisticated, and you're only really using four blocks, and really just what tiny little bits of code within each one. They're not um, exactly. Yeah, they're not really kind of uh, super long bits of code. 
Exactly. So, um, okay. So, the, what I do want to show you quickly with this is, uh, is I'm just going to quickly uh, do a command in here. I mean, how okay. are we doing for time? We're not doing too bad. I think uh, we've got a little bit of time left uh, to, to you know, you okay. show something. Oh, no, obviously, we've got this thing over here as well, which I think is really cool. As a sort okay. of, a, uh, you know, the, like doing words is fine, but if you can kind of do kind of fun stuff within okay. servers and things like that, that's kind of cool too. Uh, let me just do impulse. Let me just see if this actually. Um, okay, I'm just going to go off camera just to make sure if this works. Yes, it works. Okay, <laughs> now if you if you co uh, command middle click this command block. Oh, I don't know if I will be able to because um, my middle can really like doesn't. No, no, I mean my middle command, my middle click. Are you thing. able to? <laughs> okay, so if yeah. if you take if you take if you take that command block. Okay, all right. <laughs> now put it down. It's magic! <laughs> <laughs> Ding! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is, this is, this is, I, 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 I suspect this might have been a, Ding. I don't know if this was a bug or not, I doubt it was kind of intended to work like this, but basically what we've done is we've, yeah. we've set this Always command active. block to being active, okay, we set it as an impulse and we've, oh. and we've set it to replace itself it's with fine. diamond ore. So when we pick it up and then turns itself and then and, turn, it and then down, sets it immediately block activates the, yeah. where it is into diamond ore. That is clever. Yeah. It's that's kind of cool. Exactly, exactly. So you'll see that I use this technique um, a lot uh, for for I recently did the like a towers yeah. of midnight thing where all of the chests are random. Um, so when you actually look at the source files of it, uh, when you go into it, you see, you actually see. Yeah command blocks and not chests because when the game loads loads the the thing it turns these that is so cool. uh, command blocks into yeah. <laughs> random random chests very very, very okay very well i think cool that's stuff. kind of uh, for me very i mean cool. it's uh, it, it, it's explained yeah. this um, these different colors really really well um, and i think there are hundreds and hundreds of different applications for it as well and uh, i suppose what i want to kind of yeah i mean it's and it's you know oh, it's really up to the limited. players to I mean, kind of figure out and to you know watch people on youtube and stuff and to be inspired to kind of create your yes. own stuff um and i think that's you know that's what we, all these are things about <laughs> absolutely as, yeah, I, as I always tell you <laughs> exactly as i always always tell you nothing is impossible yeah <laughs> it's just yeah uh, if you're willing to well i think we've just about run out of time about um it. so uh, we should say goodbye to <laughs> okay so oh, you're you gonna show us this <laughs> yeah okay go on then. okay so quick, let me quickly show you the door. So I think you, you and you, and your other series, uh, you were you were wondering what the door was, and that's the door. It's a door that's specifically made. <laughs> and there for you go. The power of command blocks in your toilet. It doesn't work for me, but you've got a secret entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, so, so just to give you guys an idea, very quickly, last that I'll, we'll leave, we will leave you with this is we're doing something called an execute. Add a player's uh, add an entity's name Dragnos. That's in a full four block radius. We are filling yeah. this space with air. Yeah. Okay. And if I leave, if I go outside that radius, the follow the, the command block directly Brilliant. after it actually <laughs> fills it up with lapis. Okay. So it's it's kind of once again a very very simple command, but it it has so many so many applications. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, okay. That, well, yeah, uh, we should say goodbye to the sky people again. So I'm going to look into, into the sky like this. Sky people. Sky, you you uh, don't see them. There they are. I They're just there. I still, so uh, thank still you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for <laughs> watching. And if you have any questions uh, or comments, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, and uh, myself and Dragnos uh, will, be, uh, will be taking a look and, and making sure that uh, any of your questions are answered. Uh, so do uh, like the video as well and share it about with your friends if you're interested in this stuff you and will, if yes. you're interested in further kind of examining uh, how command blocks works do check out Dragnos's channel and I'll leave that in the description below as well until next time thanks for watching bye everybody